So we finally have the Pixel OS update based on Android 15. For now, while making this video, I tried this as an unofficial version. It's not available officially yet, but maybe it will come officially very, very soon. We have Pixel OS first look based on Android 15. Pixel OS already does not make, does not give you any kind of major customizations or features. So, of course, as expectedly, nothing extra or nothing unique present in this case. But still, we will talk about the things which are present in this one. So, let's have a quick look at first of all, yes, it is pixel based. So, having pixel launcher was quite expected. But one thing, let me tell you because an Android 15, in case you don't know, in the app list settings, you have this option show long app names and only few of the minor tweaks here and there nothing much also in the quick settings panel as expectedly because it's inspired from the stock android so we have the dark quick settings panel instead of light one which is definitely not bad of course it is subjective but it is here also as far as i know some of the tweaks are inspired from google pixel 9 pro not so sure but google pixel weather app is already included in this case as you can see the weather app is by default available you just have to install it you just have to update it from the google play store to make it work perfectly although ai options might not be present in your case one thing which is really amazing in this one is the settings ui Finally, after a long time, settings new settings UI was introduced and because Pixel OS basically focus on stock Android things. So the good thing is settings UI is bit changed and some of the layout changes are here. The settings UI is inspired from the Android 15 beta update. Also, if we take a look at the security and privacy options, you will find the new feature named as private space is already here. But if you take a look at the device unlock options, you can see the option to access the power menu on secure lock screen. It is also present. Scramble layout is also there. So some of the must have and useful tweaks, useful options are still present in this case. So that's a good thing too. Also take a look at the private space. As I already told you that private space is one of my favorite features with Android 15. And yes, some of you might comment regarding that private space is nothing, not a unique feature. Yes, it is not a unique feature, but in reality, because stock Android does not provide you these kind of things, usually, especially from the past few years, these kind of features are not present. So getting this feature in stock Android is actually a very great thing, especially if you use this Pixel OS and some of the custom rooms like this one, private space actually plays an important role. For me personally, I might use Pixel OS as my daily driver, especially because I need private space and I also want to use a custom room. So that's a good thing too. Private space also have some of the great features like in hide the private space in case you want to, you just have to find it directly in the search bar. In the search bar, you have to enter private space and then you will be able to find it out. That's quite amazing. And these are the things which you have in this case. These are just kind of noticeable changes, but let me tell you one more thing. For example, if I move on to settings options and go to security and privacy, once again, you will notice we do not have the support for app lock yet. It is not available yet in this case, but that might be added even maybe in the official version, maybe with the upcoming updates, not so sure, but also the ignore window secure flags feature is also missing, but that might be added soon. Google Photos have the unlimited photos and videos backup option available also for free. So that's a good thing. It is available in this case. You do not have to enable or disable any tweak, but it's available in this case by default. So you might love this thing for sure, especially if you use Google Photos a lot. These were some noticeable changes which are available here, but let's take a quick look at some of the other things. For example, network traffic indicator, it is available, it is working fine, so that's a good thing. Other than else, even in the display options, you will find colors related options. And of course, including these colors options, because Android 15 brings you this color contrast option in the display settings, that's also not missing. It is available in this case. High brightness mode might be device specific, so we're not going to talk about this one. Sound and vibration. We also have the now playing option. In this case, in my case, I did not try it out. Maybe after updating, it should work. Adaptive sound feature is also present in this case. So basically, because it's having all the pixel goodies, we have some pixel exclusive features available in this case. So that is also an advantage. We also have this additional sound section where you can enable or disable some of the sounds which can enable or disable. And last but not the least, some of the gestures like swipe to screenshot, etc. are already present. So these were the things just wanted to let you know. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.